a message from your future self. Have you ever want to just ask your future self, hey, if you were me right now, what would you do? You're in the future. You would know. You see it from a higher perspective, a higher dimension. Tell me, where should I go? Today is all about your future self. So if you just now recently have said a prayer looking for answers, ask the universe to show me which way I'm going, give me guidance as to where I should be led, who I should be led by, then this is a video that you manifested because your answers have to come somehow. And the universe, like I always say, does not have a mouth. God, universe, uses people and people choose to be vessels. Hey, I'll do the job. And delivering the message. And I desire to have a deep connection with the creator. You know, that's not something you would say like, I wanna connect to the creator. But it's like, I wanna know where I come from. Just like this camera is Canon, if, if it breaks or if I wanna learn anything more about it, I'm gonna take it to Canon. Or I'm gonna take this laptop to Apple. Where do we take us to get more answers for what we are, who we are, if we are? <laughs> like, where would we go? You know, I don't know if that would be like a library where you go all the way in the back and then like you open that last door and I'm like, hey, it's, it's me energy. Like, what, what does that look like? Where do you go? to know more would like to think that that's what this channel is about and i didn't know where to go there were many people closest to me that were also looking for the truth but were convinced that they had found it in many different religions or practices and for me still questioning i would get a little bit of truth from every single religion and i would at the end of the day have like a sampler plate of every single religion i'm like okay like, what am I looking for? And that's when it dawned the truth. And a lot of people don't realize that your evolution is through truth. This truth has set me free because now that I know the truth, I can sleep in peace. I can connect with this loving, supportive, unconditional loving guide. I'm evolving into the next phase of my life and that is being a guide and light for stars really connecting with some of the most influential people on this planet to help them evolve. And so right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just ask your higher self, what do you want me to know? What do you want me to know? What guidance would you give you at this moment in your life? We see the future oftentimes as in front of us when the truth is, is that it's above us. The self and the version of you and where you are in the future if you could communicate with you right now in this moment, whenever you find this video, what would your future self say? Chess has another secret video I just dropped talking about magic. And there's so many other videos also that I just dropped on the tarot chess. So you guys can check that out. In today's video, I'm gonna be focusing on a message from your future self. So they're going to have specific energies and frequencies behind every single image. And this is once again, your future self here to communicate with you because somehow you asked the universe to send me a sign, send me a guide. Where should I go next? When, wondering what the future looks like. You had a desire to see a desire to connect with your higher self. So this video found you somehow, if you could talk to yourself 10 years ago, what would you say? That's the same thing, but we're going to be communicating with yourself within the next 10 years, energetically, where you are looking at the card. So we're going to jump into it and see what your future self wants to tell you. Let's jump into the first image and see what messages are here for you. I will see you on the other side. Peace. Image one, if you guys chose this card, this is a message directly from your future self, okay, directly for you from your future self. What would your future self tell you exactly at this moment? You need nothing, okay? So you need nothing. You need nothing to be 
happy. You need nothing to be at peace. You need nothing to feel good, which is freeing in a sense because it's like, oh, okay, I don't need anything to make this happen. That's good. I don't need anything that should feel freeing more than anything. There is more for you to explore. All right, so there's more of the journey, more of yourself that you're exploring more of your wants, more of your desires, understanding the difference between desires and your wishes. Okay, wishes are something that you hope to obtain. Your desires are, in a sense, clues to who or what you are to obtain and be is the better way to put it. Your desires can tell you a lot about who yourself is your desires all right let's jump into the tarot and see what messages are here okay so your future self is coming up in the form of an astronaut someone who is exploring all right some of you could even have a connection to space connection to the stars connection to the astro world connection to wanting to elevate evolve go higher all right let's get messages for card one image one future self let's see let's look at the circumstances judgment okay it's a calling in your life to be great it's a calling in your life to do things to reach the pinnacle to do things that many have not done a significant number you could be seeing a lot is two Okay, and the variation of twos, two, 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 24, 24, 21, 21 in the variation of twos. And that is because you are and have been going through a journey, from what I'm hearing, of discovering what you no longer desire, what you no longer want, that you can evolve. Things that you wish you always had once you obtain them, there's a realization you're having here that there is more that you desire. Some of you may not even know what that is yet, which still puts you in a better place than people who think they know what their desires are. You're coming to a point I'm seeing emerge, which is what is allowing you to communicate with your future self of wondering, okay, where, did I, where do I go next? And spirit is saying, future self is saying, there is more for you to explore you are inspiring others from a distance why is judgment here card one those of you who are drawn to card one what does your future self want you to know judgment page of swords all right so i believe that you have been going through a huge leap from the page of swords and let's see where that leap is taking you judgment you're evolving you're being called to something much greater than where you are right now we have you evolving to the king of pinnacles so this is someone in charge someone who is a leader someone who is a director a ceo someone who makes decisions someone who is very stable someone who is very practically blessed someone who has masculine energy which is why we have the king so you don't have to be a male but you are coming up as someone with King of Pentacles energy, which is very alpha driven when it comes to success and career. So that could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. All right. You're also shifting into the magician. The magician is one who aligns with the universe to allow themselves to receive magic and then share it with the world is what I'm hearing sharing it with the world. This is just part of your destiny for you to be at the highest peak of things. So that's once again, why I feel like you're in the astronaut suit. You're, you're meant to reach higher heights, heights that many others have not reached or climbed. Some of them have not even thought to climb. Um, movie documentary that they're bringing me to is Project Impossible. And that is a really inspiring 
documentary. And whenever you get the chance, you should watch it and see what messages are in there. Because whatever you see in there is just another confirmation of what you're meant to see. And just like that, I just kind of threw the magic on you. So I'm here, I'm a magician, receiving magic, receiving answers from yourself in the future and giving you these answers. This is magic. So believing in magic is a really big deal here is what I'm getting. You have a lot of swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, using your mind, using your intellect. But this level, this height requires a different tool other than your mind, as I've always say. So we have the two of swords, there's confusion here, and then the nine of swords, confusion on which way to go, okay? So going from the page to the night, confusion on how to get here. So what I'm getting is this is where you are here, page of swords, knight of swords, really thinking about this, thinking your way into this, trying to figure this out. What is it that they're trying to figure out? Knight of pentacles, okay career career knight of pentacles okay we'll take knight of pentacles the five of pentacles same thing temperance is here too so temperance on the bottom says part woman part man all angel one foot in the water one foot on the land so we have sagittarius energy there's a sense of freedom that i'm seeing that your future self is saying that you're going to desire to want to have there's more for you that to explore and there's more that you will explore before solutions come to you. When it comes to your career, there's more to discover. There's more to explore about what it is that you love, what it is that you really truly enjoy because this is what's going to bring you the most success. This is also what's gonna take you to the highest heights, divination at the bottom of the deck. So it could be spirituality, it could be magic, Let's get some confirmation. Why is the magician here? Future self, why is the magician here in card one? Thank you. All right, so we have four cards that came out. Wish wisely. Use your wishes wisely to manifest your heart's desire and take practical steps towards making your dreams come true. So wish wisely. Once again, this is why I was saying in the beginning what a wish is. A wish is like wishing, hopeful wishing. I'm, I'm hopeful and I'm wishing, but spirit is saying is that now you're shifting into knowing that it all works out. And that's a different feeling. So that feeling is wish wisely is to understand that whatever you ask for, the universe is conspiring to give to you the universe god energy movement is conspiring to work with you and what does this mean this means that this universe is working in your favor so however you correspond through your vibration and how you feel is determining a lot of things in your life. It's not so much intellect. It's not so logical. It's not so, okay, why do I do this and why did I do that? It's what would feel better? What feels good? What do you do when you're in joy? I'm gonna really need to break this one down for you, card one. We have been taught various ways on what success is, how to, how to obtain success, what business is, and what I'm getting with the five of pentacles here before it even came out is you're spending a lot of time in your headspace. And there's a lot of confusion, and that is because you've never been to this place before. Where you're going, this is what your future self is saying, where you're going, you have never been before. There are no instructions on how to go forward in your life. It is only through the feelings that you have that are saying, hey, this is what we desire to do. 
And the only way we can get to those feelings is by enjoying life. I'm getting that it's going to happen a lot sooner than you think. Everything, everything that you want is going to happen a lot sooner than you think. And a lot of this is you've been stuck on trying to figure out finances and trying to figure out how this is going to work out, how this is going to help you if you follow what you love, how can you pay for things. There are so many thoughts that you're having when it comes to just doubts and fears that it's almost coming up in your reality. It's becoming real the more that you believe in it. So can you use that power for good now and choose to believe in the good within yourself and how that could actually work out? So I'm seeing that over the next few years that in this energy with where you are, you were looking to try to figure it out, like go to school longer. Some of you, it's going to school longer. Some of you, it's learning more, getting a certificate. Like you're, you are excelling in whatever it is that you're doing intellectually, but still that's not what's getting you to the King of Pentacles and the magician. That's not what's getting you there. And that's what your future self has come to tell you is that if you could connect with your future self in the future and ask yourself, hey, let me know if I'm not on the right path, even though all paths are right, because that's how good the universe is. All paths lead to home, no matter what path you take. It just may take longer to get there. It's something to do with your inner child. It says playing keeps us young at heart. Do something silly and fun, but stay safe. All right. There's something more here that we're overlooking. So let's get some answers as to what your future self is trying to tell you here, because in the future, you are successful. You're the king of pinnacles. This is someone who's very stable. This is the most stable person that I have. When it comes to finances, when it comes to tangibles, when it comes to physical things, and you're also coming up as a magician. So this tells me that you are manifesting more than you even think because we have more in the future that you're unaware of. So let's just see, we have adjacent possibilities. Once again, there are many paths that you can take, but I'm seeing that the path that you've been on is the one of just excelling at what whatever it is that you're currently doing. So whether that's getting a diploma, whether that's staying for longer to climb the ladder and spirit is saying that this is not where you, how you're going to get there. So I just want to know what future self is trying to say here. Okay. Obviously we have adjacent possibilities. There are so many different possibilities that you can take. Tell me what happens with this possibility that they're currently on the path of before they reach this video. Once we see energy and observe it, it's changing. So before this video, the path that you're on is the page of swords, which is a child, someone new, a novice, kind of just figuring things out. That's kind of where you are in the space of intellect. You're coming up as a page of swords, someone who wants, someone who's curious, but not sure. You just know that you want to excel at whatever it is, but you're learning that it's not just about excelling at whatever it is. It's excelling at what you love. That's why it's excelling. So once you find something that you love so much that you're obsessed in a good way about the stats of it, the details of it, the make of it, the model of it, like you know all the details, and that's because it's meant for you. It's meant for you. It's like literally the girl who did my hair and she's telling me that she went to Mexico and she's seen these pyramids and she's got the videos and she's in there. And I'm just like, girl, do you not know who you are? Like you're into all of this because it's who you are. Not everyone is obsessed with fossil rocks and things that have been here and left behind and studying all of that and dinosaurs and extinction like you are. So know who you are and spare 
the suffering of a journey you don't want to take. Meaning don't do something you don't want to do just because you've been told that it's the right path. Really understand that the thriving is going to come because what do we have here? The thinking man. Once again, in your thoughts. Okay. So that's why I always say that thinking is only one form. It's only one tool. And this one tool is really great at reading, writing, really great at figuring puzzles out, figuring things out on paper in this 3D system matrix, whatever you want to call it in this world that's been created, but it is not the only tool that you have. And so, like I said, you've been thinking so much that you manifested the thinking man. This is your energy on the board here. Thinking, 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 two of swords, thinking, thinking, thinking. But you notice the two of swords has a blindfold and that's because that's when all of the answers are truly going to come when you stop thinking. And you're probably like, how the hell do you stop thinking? Well, try a different tool. Instead of thinking, try feeling Try feeling more. What would feel fun? Try discovering and doing different things. Spirit is saying there's, there's a different path. So if that's where they are here, where are they in the future, future self, for the image one? Man holding a coin. Can't make it up. Like I said, the most stable one in the day. You would think it's magic. Um, yeah, it is. We have patience at the bottom, healer of the ages, okay? So spirit is saying patience, not with the universe. As I always say, it's not the universe we're waiting for. It's us to be ready. It's us to stop thinking so we can feel the guidance, right? That's the correlation here as the magician is, as you're becoming the magician, before you found this video, you were thinking. Now, it's almost like, interrupting the matrix. It's like me coming in and saying, Hey, stop. The thinking is not going to help you get through that door. Let's try a different tool because you desired for answers in your spirit. Once again, whether it was a prayer, whether you asked God, whether in your soul deeply, you said, I don't know what to do and deeply meant it and it was a surrendering of your vibration and the universe acknowledged it and bing here's the video but most people are not open to this and you are so what does that mean that means that in this life you have chosen to be awake you have chosen to see is what i'm feeling that your future self is saying even for you to have the acknowledgement of a future self. And because of this, you are inspiring others. You're coming up as judgment and you're coming up as temperance. You are not like everyone else. You've heard this before, maybe. How you're going to get here from where you are now is you have already are because you have a desire. So you will be there. Your future self is saying, you make it here. This is what it is. And if you would not have found this video, you maybe wouldn't have known this. And that's why I say revelations are priceless. It can save you decades of suffering by just knowing the truth. Like, psst, hey, come here. Not that way. This way. And you're open and you're trusting. Now it's just trusting that it's like, okay, come on. Let's go down this way. And what are they going to find? Card one, what are they going to find? What is the tribe going to find when they take this path now that they found this video? They're going to wait. We're going to take the, the bottom. Wait. It's not yet time. Things are being woven. So what this means is that you are aligning yourself to receive everything that you desire. Spirit is saying to wait because the path that you've been taking is a long path 
that leads back to another long path. It's just a long path. All paths lead home, but this one that you've been on before has been a really long path. And I'm just sensing that there's a change. And once again, this is an interruption of your service in life saying that now you know the truth. And the truth is that everything works out for you. The king of pentacles, that you're successful, that your business is, is successful. This is not something you have to make happen. You love to do whatever it is that you're doing. Once again, when I'm seeing success, I'm seeing newspapers writing about you. I'm seeing Forbes magazine. If you're, if you're even open to the collaboration. So I'm even hearing some of these companies might not align with what you stand for. So I'm just using Forbes because it's well known, but it doesn't have to be that specific company. You might have your own that acknowledges other successful business owners, whatever you're doing. It's like, it's woven into business. It's woven into success. It's woven into a good life and it's woven into reaching heights, highest heights, the highest heights. Once again, project impossible. If you have time to watch that documentary, I mean, literally shedding tears, watching that it's, I've, I don't know if I've seen anything more inspiring in the sense of like the physicality of it and the impossibilities of climbing mountains that people have died climbing. I mean, it's very rare to even get to the top and they just surpassed so many expert expectations. And so I see with you surpassing expectations and everyone is their own messenger. Okay. And I see that you are a messenger and everyone is a messenger at the bottom. We have soul family calling your tribe. You don't need to do this alone. Okay. So yeah, you could definitely be soul tribe. If you are shout out to tarot tribe, shout out to light tribe. If you guys are here and that just simply means you're, you've already broken the chain, rewriting the future ancestral patterns. You've already broken the chain. That's why you are here. You have broken the chain. Now is the time to align your life with what it is that you love. And that's where the magician comes in is now that, you know, every, anything you do will work out seemingly that it's not working out. It is working out behind the scenes. Once again, in your favor, it is always in your favor. You have to trust every single thing. You have to trust every single thing. If you're late to something, trust that it was for a good reason. Trust is what your future self is saying. Let's say if there's anything else. So future self is saying you're going to break the chain, do things that many people only dream that they can do. You're going to also inspire your family is what I'm hearing. You're going to inspire your family very heavily. Okay. Future self. What is it that you want image one to know? Okay. Be grateful along the way to raise your vibration. Okay. So even if you don't think that you're there now, spirit is saying, be grateful to raise your vibration. What does that mean? It's not once again, be grateful. It's be grateful, be filled with great goodness, feel good about it as you're on the journey. Otherwise it's suffering to wait for it. So just be grateful, full of great. And we'll just say once again, full of good, full of goodness feeling good along the way so that what the journey is satisfying just as much as the destination is as well. That's what spirit is saying is that the journey could be much more satisfying. It's already going to work out. You can't miss it. You can't think your way into it. You can't work your way into this. It's a discovery. You can't rush it. It's a journey. Enjoy it is what your future self is saying. So have faith in your dreams at the bottom. Spirit is saying, have faith. It's already done. They're your dreams for a reason. You're dreaming them for a reason. And if you're not, go on the discovery. Now is the time to discover. So as the astronaut appears to me, I'm getting discovery, exploration. So your future say, self is saying, go explore. Go explore and get answers. And as you're exploring, trust that the signs and everything you see 
are messages of communication from me, says your future self, higher self, universe, whichever you choose is true to you. All right. So if you guys are looking for longer videos, I have extremely in-depth long videos at the tarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to image number two. Image two, if you guys were drawn to this image out of all three, this is your message. I was already getting a channel message just based on the image that I was creating earlier. So with this one, this image came to me and it really feels like you may be in an unknown space in your life, which some people say dark, unknown space in your life where you're not sure where you're going. You're not sure where you're going next. And we even had anxiety come out as I was shuffling. So I just left it there just to kind of see what is spirit saying here with this message. So your future self is here with a message. And basically where you are now, the energy is just what it is. This is the way that energy works. So we understand your energy is what it is right now. Let's see what that is. Okay understand that once we see the energy and observe it it changes which now means that you can change your route all paths lead home so all paths lead you back to the truth of home and that is just who you are when you're home to yourself when you're at one when you're aligned with yourself, that's like being home. Like all paths are going to lead you to that. No matter what, they're all going to lead you to truth. And there is no such thing as the wrong path. It's more so of just, that's a longer path because even the wrong path will eventually lead you back to the right path. So I also talked about that in the video. So what I'm seeing is your eyes, not your physical ones, but your spiritual eye is being heightened at this time so that you can truly see the truth of where you desire to be and who you desire to become. Another thing. Okay, so let's just see what the current energy is and we're gonna talk to your future self. All right, current energy of the person that was drawn to image two, three cards, one, thank you. All right, all right. So this is perfect. So this is all your energy. We're going to take it in the upside as we're taking notes here. So we have the hangman to start us off. The hangman, usually upside down. So once again, things could be seemingly turning upside down or things are not exactly fitting the way that you thought they would fit. And the goal is to align with what is aligned with your destiny. That's the goal is to be aligned. So how can I be aligned with a limited perspective? So things had to be moved, shift around in your life is what your future self is saying and still will be for you to get to the nine of cups and the page of cups. We have happiness. Your purpose is to be happy. If you still feel like you're searching for your purpose, your purpose is very clear as day, okay? We have financial, we have financial freedom. These are things that you've been waiting for. Three of wands, not sure where to go. Many different choices, three of wands. If I stay here, my family's here. If I go here, like there's a lot around your energy when it comes to making this decision. And in your energy right now, you're waiting, okay? Let's make sure this is correct. Yeah, because these two came up in the reverse. That makes sense. Okay, why is the three of wands here? Okay, yeah. So you're waiting, once again, queen of, of pentacles. Our queen of pentacles is all about tangible resources. This is my Taurus, my Capricorn, Virgo. Practical things come naturally, easily. Material things. Success. Check out that video, thetarotchest.com. I just released it on materials the queen of pentacles. So you have been waiting, transitioning into becoming someone who is stable, who doesn't need anyone financially. You want to feel free, financially free has been your goal and what you've been waiting for. This is your current energy right now. 
So with these two being in the reverse, the page and the nine of cups, this tells me it hasn't really been about happiness and fulfillment like it is getting ready to be. And this is why the journey has been so long. You had to choose yourself. You had to change your perspective. What does your future self want you to know? And this, why this three of, first of all, let's start with the hangman. We have one major arcana here where things were turned upside down and things are changing very fast. Okay. Things that you didn't predict, things that you didn't see coming, but it's happening for the good. Everything that is happening is happening for the good. We always say this future self. What would you tell them right now? Your dreams and desires are the keys to your fulfillment. So once again, that when we say it feels like something's missing, we try to fill it with a job. We try to fill it with a partner. We try to fill it with food. We try to fill it with escapism. We try to fill it with drugs. We try to fill it with anything we can. And that hole and that void is lack of fulfillment. You're not full. So what that means is that things are being shifted in your life because your soul is desiring to feel fulfillment. Once again, it's interesting because I always teach the 10 of cups as full fulfillment because it's full 10 full. It's complete. The nine of cups I always teach as contentment. The nine of cups is usually a wish come true. Like you're content and you're happy. It's not to say that you're least happy. It's just that you have the things you might even get to a place where you have all the one I'm looking into the future as well. Okay. So even if you're not there now, you may get to a space where you have to realize materials are not everything. They're not fulfillment. You can have all the materials in the world and still fill this void. So where does this void come from is really what it comes down to. So spirit, where is this void coming from this fulfillment? And it's your dreams and your desires. Okay. Storm warning first, Michael. Okay. Uh, blossoming abundance at the bottom. So what I'm going to say is broken heart. Yeah, we definitely do have a lot of like romantic things that are coming up. Um, people breaking your heart. Okay. Cause with the first chakra, we have the root, the base chakra, which is all about your foundation and how things are being built and what they've been founded on. And so a lot of things had to come in the form of a storm because the quieter messages you were not hearing. So once again, it became a storm. It became a lot going on. So whether this has happened or is getting ready to happen, there's a storm warning here. And really what it is, is you're just... The storm is meant to help you. It's interesting to think of it this way, but it's tearing down everything that can no longer stand in your life, no longer aligns. Like for instance, storms shouldn't come through and tear down the house anyways. That means it wasn't founded in a secure house. And so some of your relationships have not been founded on sincerity, security, in the sense of a storm can come through and blow them away and they go away and you don't hear from them again. So right now it's almost like the sp spirit is turning off the lights so you can see exactly where the light is in your life so that you can go towards it and expand on your happiness. The light is blot once again, blossoming abundance. It has to start from somewhere. And in order for that to start, I'm, I'm hearing detox for the next few months. It may be a lot of detoxing, getting rid of. So, and I'm also hearing another thing too, uh, is if it's not a hell yeah, hell yeah. if it's not a hell yeah, it's a no. So when you're shopping, when you're getting things and you're like, I don't know which one to go with, then it's neither. Because if it's not a hell yes, then it's a no. Or maybe it's a hell, hell yes to two. I'm hearing some of you might walk out with two of something that you desired. It might be two cars. 
It might be two watches, twos, twos, abundance, abundance. Get used to having more than enough, not just buying for now. Expect to receive more than enough. So we have a lot of blossoming abundance that's coming in over the next 10 years. Like I always say, time doesn't really exist. You watching this video alone is putting it into motion because now you're observing that there is a different path for you other than the one that you've been on. And what is that? Page of Cups. This is someone who is, this is someone who's exploring. This is someone who is having fun. This is someone who wants to be a child again and see life like a big sandbox that you're playing in. Nothing is serious. You're meeting friends. You're, you're seeing different things. The water can be important as well. Um, discovering things. You're curious about new things. And you're following your heart. You're following this feeling of excitement and fun. And it's leading you to the nine of cups. So I am seeing that you're going to have to rebuild some things. It may even be a house. Okay. But whatever it is, the foundation of it has to be rebuilt. We have to be willing to unlearn. So imagine if you're evolving and you have a partner and they're not. This is why most relationships do not move forward. One person outgrows the other. Unless you're evolving at the same rate and willingly, the other person is open to evolving because they can't just be doing it for you. They've got a really desire to help themselves. So I'm seeing those people who don't want to help themselves are dwindle, dwindling away. And Spirit is saying it's, it's going to be time to come out of the cave here very soon here and to share your voice, to share your visions, to share your creations with the world. You're going to receive many awards in the future. Your future self is saying you're going to receive many awards in the future. Men, a lot of recognition, but none of it trumps the way you feel when you get to do this thing that you love so much. That's the money is just the cherry on top, truly. So now you in the future, we have the queen of pentacles and what you've been working to get to stability, financial success, independence. All right, so future self, let's see. Now what do we have in the future? King of Cups, so you do have a partner. Love is very significant. Let's get messages about love in particular from the fairies. Let's get messages about love from the fairies. Love from future self, nature sign, okay? So spirit is leading you to a loved one in moderation through the signs of nature. Let's see what the energy of this love connection is. A woman holding a coin. Okay. Interesting. Card one, image one was a man holding a coin and we had a king of pentacles. So you're coming up as the feminine energy, someone who is being open to receiving Though you are very independent, and we also have a woman, so some of you guys could be open to dating women or men and men. It doesn't really matter here. It's like, it's all love. So energy is energy. The gender of your body is simply just the model of your vehicle here on earth. It's not you. It's literally a vehicle that contains you. So again, once we're spiritual beings having a human experience. So I definitely feel like you could be connected to the spiritual world very deeply. And the reason why I say that is because even if you don't know, most of your love is driven by spirituality. You will be stable and have your own doing what you love to do with the King of Cups here. This can also be a person so you in the future is the queen of pentacles. So you're making money doing what you love to do. And let's get the final, okay? Ace of wands, yeah. So it's something that you're very passionate about. It does work out. It does pay off. I do see resources and finances coming in. You're very independent. And I also see you being in love. So yeah, look at the bottom. Uh, I was like, I'm going to shuffle for a card. Caring connections, yeah. I definitely feel that. So there is a caring, no card either to confirm. So I always like to see like, is there another message and spirit saying, no, this is directly what it is. So caring connections, caring connections. So this is very, very important for you. 
Um, I definitely see that you do have someone coming in. Okay, we have the queen, we have the pinnacle. Be receptive to the subtle messages from nature as you go about your day that nature talks to us continuously and we need to only open our hearts and our minds. So you have a lot of revelations. You have a lot coming in. Your future self is saying you have a lot to be proud of. You have a lot to celebrate here, to change your perspective. Even if you think, once again, even if you think you have to start all over, things are falling apart, things are not falling as planned, everything works out for the good. That is the truth. So if your plan is not aligning, you must have missed something. And that's why we don't plan. We don't plan creation. We don't try to figure it out. We just allow the guidance to come to us, whether that's through nature, whether that's through signs. And I feel like that's why the world around you is being shut out. This is a very dark ambiance around her. So it's like everything around her is being shut out so that she can just see and focus on the light ahead of her. It, it took for things to be so dark to see this light, to see this beam of light. And so in the future, your future self is saying that your dreams and your desires are the keys to everything. So do you know what those dreams are? Do you know what those desires are? We have caring connections. You have a caring connection. You have a lot of stability to the point where you're able to provide for yourself twice here. And if not, then this is also someone that you are manifesting of the same gender that is also on that same level as you. And there's a lot of abundance. So anything that looks like a storm, receive the guidance and you'll always know ahead of time. Just like you got a warning, spirit will always give you guidance out of a place where you don't need to be. So you're rebuilding. You're starting from a foundation. It's not over you're rebuilding with new wisdom that you have here on a set uh, on a foundation of love. Future self, what would you want card two to know in this moment? You are wealthier than you think. So once again, you are wealthier than you think, which is why we don't think we feel. So right now, I'm seeing that you can lose every tangible thing and still come back 10 times fold. Uh, stay detached from material things. Let them come and go. The ones that belong will stay. The ones that won't will go. And I also feel like you could be very connected to something here that's aspirational. You, we have you were meant to be free at the bottom. So a key to your happiness a key to your fulfillment is to be free, to feel free, to not plan, to wake up and not have to plan anything. All right. So I want to see what this ace of wands is all about. What is this energy here? This path that you're taking? It's a creative path here with a lot of excitement and energy around it. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? We have longing for home, homesick for the stars. You are not alone ancestors stand by you so once again longing for home longing for connection to this authentic version of you the one who is abundant who, the one who is free the one who is not worried the one who is in love and this is what you're doing shifting into this version of you and how you're shifting is based on how you feel getting comfortable with receiving more wealth getting comfortable for charging being comfortable charging for your services. Something that you love to do, it's okay to receive an exchange from it. So homesick is really about coming home to yourself, coming home to the truth of who you are. So spirit, your future self is saying, you will go on a path, you will go on a journey looking for home. Home, heaven on mother earth. Heaven here on earth. How can I bring home here on earth so that my journey is comfortable, so that people are pleasant, that people are compassionate, that unity exists? 
that I can live my abundant dream. Your dream, whatever that is, we have plaques on the wall here. We have grapes on the wall here as well. Whatever that is, you are destined and it is already in the cards for you to be wealthy. We have the word wealth here. This is all of your energy. Every single card that I bring out will be because you are here. Because you are here. We have you're too amazing to follow everyone else. Forge your own path. Stop trying to carry the world on your shoulder. Make time to play. Have fun and be free. You have such a bright light inside. Stop dimming it. Clear your mental and physical clutter. You will feel so much better. Speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud and clear. And we stop. That's everything that your future self wants you to know right now in this moment. This is not by coincidence. If you can really feel that you desired somewhere a prayer to be answered and comprehension to be had, you have a voice. You cannot save everybody. You will inspire them more by living it yourself and letting them see the fruits of everything that you wish to be, the life that you chose to live, will have rewards from it. And it's like we're so busy looking for the rewards that we forget what rewards are meant for. Rewards is just simply the evidence of success. But if you're successful, you will always have a rewards Rewards are happiness. Rewards are more abundance. Fruit on your trees. I'm just seeing growing fruit to be a big deal. Grapes. Growing fruit. Right? It's like seeing it grow is the reward. So it's not always about the tangible payoff, even though that is clearly here. You have wealth. You're a priestess. You're called to doing whatever it is that you're doing. And there's a lot of financial independence from that. Your future self is saying, speak up, speak out, let your voice be heard. This is what you would have told yourself in 10 years, if you could. You would have told yourself to speak up and speak out. Let your voice be heard loud. Clear your mental and physical clutter. See that you have a bright light inside and stop dimming it. Show it. Play. Have fun. This is where home is. It's a feeling. Stop trying to carry the world. You're too amazing to follow everyone else. This is what you would have told yourself 10 years from now. Your future self is here to tell you now so that you can change the course and the dynamic of your life. Now let's just see how has the energy changed since you've been on this reading. Future self. King of Wands in the upright. And I was going to take put that on the ground. I was going to put that on the ground because in the other card, deck one, it was in the reverse. Now it's in the upright. So now you started off in the three of wands. And this is, this is why they say magic is so powerful because you can change the course. You can change the course by looking at the energy and so now that we looked at the energy, three of wands, if you look that card up, this is about patience, waiting, not sure which way to go, okay, um, making a decision on which way to go finally. So I definitely feel like you're, you're closer, you're a lot closer than most people when it comes to making that decision. It's not that you're, you're far away at all. I don't feel that you're far. And so now that we've just changed the energy, because you just heard from your future self. This is the magic. We can't miss it. King of Wands. Confirmation. King of Wands comes out. So King of Wands is a leader. The King of Wands is someone who is passionate. And we have a house burning down, which is very interesting. Because that's the definition of the red root chakra. Family. Family. Relationships allow things to fall into alignment where necessary and just watch observe that's 
that's the benefit that you have of looking in the future. You want to know, we all want to know what our future self is saying until it's about the future. And it's like, holy crap, this is real. It's like, yeah, this is not just for fun. Like, oh yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Come subscribe to the channel so you can hear about your future. It's like you just change the future by simply observing it. That's why this is so powerful. So now, King of Wands, you're fired up. You're energetic. Okay, you're inspired to do something, to know what this is. You have hope now. You will have visions. You'll have dreams. So you could be even inspired even more now that you looked into the future and it looks good. Maybe that's why some people fear tarot. You guys could be tarot readers, para, uh, priests, tarot readers, Reiki healers. You guys could definitely be connected to magic. Okay, so anything where you're communicating with an outside source is magic. It's magic. All right. And we are here for light magic. White magic is what they call it. It's light magic. It's all truth. And truth alone will pierce the soul. You don't need anything else to really do it. And that's what the magic is. It just is. It's a miracle. We just allow it to happen. So the king of wands here, now that you looked at your energy and you looked at your future, maybe some people are afraid to see their future. But you had the bravery to come here and say, what would my future self tell me? Your future self is saying, hey, in the future, you are living your life. Continue to shine your light inside and play because that's what you're here for. And king of wands is now being a leader, being confident in making your decisions, being confident and having others follow you because of the decisions that you're making. So there's a lot of things that are changing in your dynamic with the King of Wands here. And so all in all, you were meant to be free. Spirit is saying, last message, why is the King of Wands here? Now that their energy has shifted, simply focus on joy. That's it. Simply focus on joy. Joy, it's a powerful vibration. And it's a frequency that communicates with the universe that is saying yes. Joy is like a yes to the universe. Because once again, the universe communicates through frequency. And right now, the universe is communicating even with me through, I'm searching right now, basically. So some of you are definitely a priestess because you're asking this and I'm just searching for anything that comes up and I'm getting images. Sometimes it's movies. When I see some simply focus on joy, the first thing that they show me is a generator, like a, someone who just generates joy, joy, joy. It's like that. Imagine if you could just like plug your body into that like hey do you mind if I can just plug into you real quick and get a little bit of that energy like that excitement that inspiration so I'm seeing you as a joy generator for many people and that's very important for you to have it's just sharing it with more than just the people that you thought you can trust like family friends like expand outside of just the people that you've known because there's a lot of people who are going to love you and see you and value the joy that you generate within. Because once again, like a can of Red Bull couldn't give you that much joy. Like you can't buy joy. You can't buy it in it, like in a can and just like, you just can't. And even if you think you can, there's a crash at the end. So it's like, oh, you thought, you thought you had energy. So it's like, we want the truth and we want what's real or nothing at all. And so King of Wands, you're going to be leading the people who are not listening or open to you are not the people that you are meant to lead. The people that you're leading, they watch from you. There's not much that you will have to say. And when you do, it'll be inspired. So that's another thing. You're coming up as like a mentor, a mentee, a guider, um, someone who's guiding, guiding people. Um, and yeah, that's what I'm getting here for card two. And I'm going to move on to image three just to wrap it up and see what does their future self want to know? So if you guys want to find more in-depth, long, long videos, you can find them at thetarotchest.com. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to image three. I'm out. Image three, you just have to trust everything. You just have to trust everything. Every single 
thing that happens, you have to simply just trust that it's meant to be this way. So therefore you can observe, take yourself out of it and see that everything is happening for a reason, even sometimes reasons that we cannot see or comprehend at the time. I said in the other card that even if you're late, sometimes we're like, oh man, we're late, da 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 Or if we get off on the wrong exit, like, dang, I missed my exit, we get upset, whatever the case may be. Even that was meant to be. Trust that there was something on the other exit that was not aligned with you. Trust that the universe loves you that much and start going with the flow of it. Go with the flow of life instead of trying to change it. Okay, there's a lot of exhaustion I'm getting from just like trying to change it. Besides the fact that you're definitely an artist, okay, you could be a singer, you could be a songwriter, you could be a creator of some sense. Um, music is definitely very important. I believe she's the only one who had the headphones. Okay, so these are gold headphones. So I also feel like you do have a gift of clear audience. So the gift to hear. So the gift to hear messages, receive messages from the universe could be through music, could be through sound. You could even be connected to sound bowls. There could be a whole journey of sound. We're going to see what does your future self want you to know. If you guys were drawn to this image, your future self wants you to know that help is nearby and I got your back. So you're not doing this alone and that you have an eye that can see beyond the physical. Give me two more cards. So you do have a gift that can see beyond this physical world. Okay. So you can see energy. You could possibly see colors. You can see things before they're going to happen. Like, okay, this is probably going to happen. And I just don't know when it's going to happen, but you are receiving insight. You're not meant for everyone because of this. And the next one, future self, they're here for a message. So each day you should feel the exhilaration of being alive. So whatever it is that makes you feel like I cannot sleep. I'm too excited to wake up tomorrow. I'm too excited to wake up tomorrow because I get to do this. That is what you're meant to do. You will be having to negotiate your sleep schedule because you love it so much. So there is a discovery to be taken and let's just see where you are. As I told the other images, the way that energy works is your energy is what it is right now. And what is it? We're going to look at it. Okay. Now that you're here and you're looking at your energy, once we look at the energy, it shifts and it shifts because you observed it. So we all know the observer effect. Okay. Those of you, you could be really smart. The observer effect. Now that we observed it, it changes. Now that you're aware of where you are. It's almost like seeing yourself from a higher perspective. Now you can see, oh, I can go this way. I can go that way because you can see from a higher perspective. You do have this gift and this ability. So let's see where you are now. Four cards. Where are they now? If they chose this image, where are they? Image three, higher self, future self. They've come here. Tell me where they are. Eight of cups walking towards something else. Okay, you're in the process right now of walking towards something else, something more emotionally fulfilling. Okay, because you're walking towards the nine of cups. You're walking towards partnerships, collaborations, lovers, friendships, people that are authentic to you. I'm hearing you chose yourself. You've been choosing yourself. The lovers, we have Gemini energy. Yeah, three of swords. It was not easy to do but you have been choosing yourself and you're attracting people who are also authentic. Okay. So you're actually getting ready to attract more partnerships in your life, more of a social life. Okay. So this is where you are right now. You're moving towards that moving away. Okay. This could be a relationship. Let's just get one more card and then we'll clarify what it is. It could be work. It could be a relationship, a partnership, moving away from something. First, I want to see one more card to clarify where they are currently. And then we'll see what your future self wants you to see from the future. Okay. Yeah. Nine of swords. So there's a lot of thinking going on and in the sense of being anxious about things, nine of swords. This is my, like being in my head 
about things. All right. Being in my head about things. There is more spirituality that we must understand because people are diagnosing creativity. We are calling ourselves mentally ill when we just simply don't understand ourselves. And there is a huge shift happening because I'm seeing like overcoming like anxiety, depression, um, thoughts that maybe aren't always positive, judgment of self. There's a lot of self-love that I'm picking up, a lot more compassion coming into your life. All right, let's see what is this three of swords about if you chose this card. The star. Yeah. You're the star. Aquarius energy. You are the chosen one. Okay. If you chose this card first, it's just double confirmation. Okay. So you are definitely an artist. You definitely have something to say. And however you are creating is fueled by the messages that you have, the stories that maybe you want to tell and you want to share. This is going to illuminate a lot of light on people. Once again, I never talk about mental illness because we have to really desire being honest and aligned with the truth rather than being a victim to something that makes us feel a certain way. There's no power in that. And so I feel you're going to cure a lot of people with your words, with your lyrics, with your harmonies, with your sound, with your visions, with your art, your creations, what you see, you have a gift to go to your imagination and you have a, like this fantasy gift to see things, to see a better world. And hell, we want to be a part of it is what I'm hearing people say. I want to see that. There's a lot of fairy energy. And this is probably also why you dealt with a lot of disconnection from self. We all do because it's a self that's given to you. You don't get to choose yourself. It's given to you. So now it's like you're, you are multidimensional. So you can be anyone you want to be. But yourself has to align still with that version that you're dreaming of and seeing. You know how you have your, your dream picture of what you want your abs to look like. And you have your dream picture of your house. It's like you still have to shift into feeling that energy. You still have to shift. You still have to find, discover that version within yourself. And that's what you've been doing is discovering it. You've been on a discovery. You've been moving away, detaching, moving towards. It's been a, it's been a push and pull, push and pull. Take one step forward, two steps back, three steps forward. I'm back in the same. It, it's, that's kind of how I'm, what I'm getting it's been. Okay. But the three of swords is that you have so much hope. And you have so much light in you that you couldn't give up if you wanted to. That's how much fire is in you. It's, it's too hot to put out. It's a flame that is meant to warm the world. You're warming the hearts of others. You, it's about understanding yourself more. And then if, if you're a parent, double whammy confirmation to choose yourself and you're learning how to do that. If you're not yet a parent, I see this in the future. And it's because it's something about learning more of yourself. And even through children, you might find that. And it, it might not even be something you've thought about. Either way, I definitely see that. So let's take a look into your future. Now that we have your current energy, your current energy, we're gonna confirm. Why is the star card here in the current energy? Queen of Cups. Okay, so you have received insight about who you are. 
okay? You've received insight, whether it's through a tarot reading, through a psychic reading, through confirmations from the universe, from other people telling you at a young age, from being older, you do have some insight of your greatness. Do you trust it entirely? Maybe not so much. Do you trust what others have said? Maybe not so much. Uh, Seven of Swords, we'll get into that. So you do have a knowledge and because you did get a reading or because you did connect with this version of yourself, now your life has changed. So when I say once you observe the energy of the reading, that's what shifts your future because it's in the present, only in the present and in the now can you create, can you feel. You can't create or feel the past or the future, less it's present. So the power is in the present, bringing it here. Even being in the dream world, there's no power. Being in your imagination, even being in your imagination in your dream world is very powerful, but still lacks you feeling it here in the physical. So, you do know a little bit, and because you have been looking and seeking and discovering, you have found a lot about yourself. You have taken the path many people are just now starting to take or taking the path that others will eventually desire to take. And that is to know oneself, to know oneself, to know one's destiny, to know one's purpose. So let's see what your future looks like. Because the star card, Queen of Cups, you do have you do have more of a connection with what you love more than others do. Like others genuinely have not even started the discovery process. You have, um, and you have felt and connected with certain things that give you vibrations of feeling good. So let's see what does your future look like, okay? We have the high priestess, of course. So high priestess, someone who's very spiritual, who channels messages. So you will channel a lot of messages and it could be through your dreams, through your visions, it's just looking, I call it looking, but it's really being in your imagination. Because right now, even though my eyes are open, I'm not looking here. That's why sometimes it's easier to close your eyes and see. So that's confirmation too. Some of you meditate by imagining. Close your eyes and imagine and let yourself show you where it desires to go and be. So with the high priestess, you're just moving so quickly that in the next few years, you will be, in the next few years, I can't make it up. That's why I said I got to pull it myself. We have the six of wands. We have success, driving away, public recognition. Okay, so you are a star. People will know your name. People will recognize you and the work that you have and the creations that you have. And the cool news is, is that it's not just about you, it's the message. So your message, you want to help people for, you have a desire to help people. So you in the future, you're successful. You have a lot of success. Your future self is saying, help is nearby. I got your back. Obviously you're open. This video found you. So there are people, and that's the thing about the universe and how much the universe loves us is that when we're ready for an answer, it will appear. Most people that don't have it simply are not ready to receive it just yet. It's just what you're destined to do. You're destined to do this, whatever this is. Once again, you're the star. So it could be many things. You know what lights you up, what makes you feel fulfilled. Seven of Swords. Okay, let's see. I believe this is more so of trusting yourself. Let's see why the Seven of Swords is here. Eight of Swords. Okay. Trusting yourself to free yourself. We even have the Empress at the bottom. You're very, 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 very deeply connected to spirituality. Very connected to that. And I guess you have to be to be creative because a lot of your creations are bringing life into people's life. Like they're experiencing life. They're feeling a certain way by, by seeing what you've created. There's a movement in their soul, in their body when they feel what you've created and you may overlook it because it's yours. And it, it's like, it's like overlooking your nose. That's right here. 
it's yours for so long so you don't realize it's there. It's kind of just you overlook it. It's the same thing with your creations and the same thing with your arts. I'm hearing that you're overlooking it. So you're also an empress. You're here to bring things to life. So in the future, I'm definitely feeling like your future self is saying this. Let's see what else your future self wants you to know. Remember that you can't change anyone but yourself. So as you're changing yourself and being the example of it, that is what's inspiring people to change. That is what's inspiring people to change. And so remember that you can't change anyone. So I definitely feel like you're not meant for everyone. You are very rare. Okay. You're very, very rare. And I say this often, and maybe you need to hear it more that you're very rare, but you have public recognition and rewards because those are the expressions that someone rare would receive versus doing it for recognition and doing it for validation, which is not what you're doing it for. It's, it's authentic, which is why it's meant for you. That's another reason I'm getting is it's authentic to, to just who you are and what you're creating. And also that's once again, reward success. These are just expressions of the truth, which is that it's good, but you don't need those things to tell you that it's good or that it's great. So you are the high priestess. You are deeply connected. You can never lose this connection with the universe ever, ever. You'll never have to find it again. You'll never have to worry about losing yourself. You'll never have to worry about what you've just overcame. You've overcome it. And now you can create or choose and accept to receive a different reality in your life. And in this sense, it's one where there's a lot of success and you're already on the brink of it. I'd say out of all three images, you're the closest if you chose this card first. Now, if you guys are hearing this as your second or your third card, I would say it's very soon. It's sooner than you think. The overall collective energy was that it's arriving sooner than we think. All right, let's see what other messages. Do your thoughts need a reboot? Focus on the good in your life. So I'm hearing that that's also what is going to propel you to this place is by rebooting so that you don't keep getting the same outcomes that you got in the past because sometimes it can seem easier to recreate the past because we've already lived it rather than experiencing something new that may be challenging to imagine. So imagining something new that you've never done could sometimes feel more challenging than what you've already done. So we tend to recreate our past because it's familiar versus imagining a new future, a new path that actually does work out. So spirit is saying to take a reboot because it actually does work out. So rebooting your thoughts and also focusing on the good in your life. Okay. So yes, you've been through many things. You're using it to channel through your art and your creations that will also help and spare people much suffering because they found your art. They found your film. They found your song. They found your movie. They found your poem. They found your smile. They found you. It's just you. It doesn't matter what you do. It's just you. It's just who you are. What does your future self want you to know? Any advice for where they are right now, future self? What would you tell them? You can, your future self is reaching out to you, telling you, give yourself some credit for doing a good job at this whole living thing. So not to overlook how far you've come. You already have success. You are already much closer than many people. And that's why I said that you're much closer to being aligned with this version of you. Once again, the star success, happiness, harmony, recognition, awards. Some of you street names getting named after you buildings getting named after you. It's not about being like in awe of like, oh, wow. It's like, it only makes sense. 
you love what you do, you put it out and people are enjoying it. And therefore there's going to be fruit from it. There has to be fruit. There has to be fruit. So give yourself some credit. A little bit of faith goes a long way. Remember that. So once again, having faith has probably be, been what led you here. You just know. So having faith is telling yourself, telling your ego to just trust something higher knows better. And that something higher is your intuition. And that's why you're coming up as a high priestess. Advice from your future self. Stop ruminating over what you did or didn't do. Let it go. Every single thing. That's why I began this reading with every single thing happens for a reason. So you can let it go. Whether you did it or you didn't, it was meant to be. Trust that it already happened. So it was meant to be. There's no better way to confirm that it was meant to be or that it wasn't other than something that you've already done. You've already made the decision. So it's like, these are the things that are keeping your energy in different places so that you aren't fully feeling what it feels like to be aligned. I see happiness. I see joy. I see inspiration. I see a life that you feel good about living. I see people around you who love you and what you're creating, who want to connect with you on a deeper level. Anything else from your future self? Your uniqueness is your superpower. Live your life with both feet in, commit fully to being here. Okay, so that's interesting because I had that in image card one, so I don't know if you were drawn to card one, but it was one foot in, one foot out, and this tells me that you're an earth angel and you are definitely someone here to do something different. You're coming up as a messenger, okay? So let's see what this is about. Your uniqueness, your superpower, you in the future. You in the future, we have deep replenishment, retreat, rest, and be held. So deep replenishment to prepare for this life that you're getting ready to live. We have Pleiades, double mission, channeling and uplifting humanity, another confirmation that you are here to uplift the world. What you're doing will uplift the world. Who you are is already going to uplift the world. This is not someone that you have to be. It's already within you. You already have access to this version of you. And this is what it's all been about. So you are a star. Your future self is saying, hey, yes, you're right. Your gut, your intuition is right. You're a star. There will be recognition. There will be rewards, even though you don't care about validation. There will be fruit from your goodness. People's lives being changed will be one of the greatest fruits that you'll receive from your creations. Is your life being changed? So you were brought here to help uplift humanity. So you have been wandering your way through life, looking for guidance, and this video somehow found you. You have already changed the course of your life simply by choosing to trust your intuition and click on this video. That means you're open to the energy and shifting it and you see why you're here. Let's see if there's anything once again, there's no coincidence. Why does future self want you to have two more cards? Because future self wants you to know that life is an opportunity for exploration and adventure. Because spirit wants you to know that you are exactly where you should be. You are exactly where you should be. Another confirmation. So we can call this a coincidence that you landed on this video, chose this deck, and are hearing this message at this exact time. Or we can say that something in you and something within your future self and the energy of this video attracted you because there were answers, answers to questions that you had about all of this. And the truth is, is that it is going to work out and you're here to explore and to be on an adventure and you're exactly where you should be. And you're always exactly where you should be. And to trust that everything is happening specifically for a reason and you are exactly where you should be. When you're able to trust that you don't worry, you worry less because you'll arrive when you arrive. Less worry, less stress. All right, anything else from your future self? You must forgive if you want to be free, do it for yourself. So letting go, forgive yourself for decisions that you made in the past, they were perfectly aligned. 
with where you are right now. Without those decisions, you may not be exactly here right now on this video in a place aware enough to receive a message from your higher self years in advance telling you, hey, you are a star and you are extremely connected to the universe and to God and religion and, and discovering the truth of all of this. You are an overcomer of mental illness. You're a healer. We are healed. There is a version of you is, who is healed and cured. And there is more truth to be discovered when it comes to your mental. But understand, we're just in that sense still only diagnosing the brain and the mind, if that even belongs in the brain, the consciousness, the voice that we all have. We all have that voice. It's the voice of self. It comes with this body, but we're misdiagnosing it. And now we all feel like we have an illness when it's spirituality. There's a duality here. There's spirit and there's self. We come together as one to live this life. That's why we're having the human experience, but we are certainly spiritual, the essence of awareness and observation. And this is truth. So with that being said, we are overcomers and stronger than any illness and to not claim any illness because you're more powerful than that. There's a version of you who is healed and cured and understands yourself. We're saying, I don't understand myself. Hey, you say you're a doctor, diagnose me. You say you're a therapist, diagnose me. We have to diagnose ourselves. You are the only one on this planet who knows yourself as much as you do. Even someone who spends every minute with you will not know you as much as you know you. You know yourself the best. So you are the only one who can diagnose. So let me just tell you, there's a spirit and there is a self. And when we go like this, we start to misdiagnose it. When we're really creative and energetic, we're diagnosing it. Why? We have to know what we are. We have to know who we are. And the high priestess, I believe you're getting ready to discover that. Go see for yourself. Otherwise, there's where is your freedom? Where is freedom from depression? Where is freedom from anxiety? Where is freedom from being bipolar? There are so many emotions that you can choose to experience. Anger being one of them. There's so many emotions you can choose. But we really, really have to align with accountability to know the truth of ourself. And so I just feel like if you're here, your future self is saying you're doing some damn good work and you're changing and will impact the world. Your creations will impact the world. And so your future self is reminding you that you are exactly where you should be. Life is an opportunity for exploration and adventure. And that's what you're here to do. You're also coming up as the empress, someone here who is here to birth things into existence. This is also the mother card. So you are mothering yourself. You are perfect. We are all perfect. It is when we are imperfect that we are not perfect. It's that when we choose to fall out of alignment that we're not alignment. So if you guys are here, this video is meant to bring you a message from your future self. So this video found you somehow, a message from your future self. And if you could tell yourself right now, 10 years ago, a message, what would it have been? And in this video, that's what we're talking about is how is what would your future self tell you? Card three, your future self would tell you to focus on yourself, continue to choose yourself. It is going to pay off sooner than you think. It is a life that is only a slice of what you've imagined. So be ready for the whole pie, be ready for the whole cake. So if you guys are here, this is your video. Don't forget to subscribe to become a part of the tribe. If you guys want to check out more in-depth readings, check out the tarot chest for a more in-depth reading. There's only a limited amount of those there. So if you guys are truly interested in 
connecting with your supernatural abilities, connecting with your gifts, and you can find that there. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Whenever I feel connected and aligned with you guys to drop a reading, I will. And yeah, stay up to date with what I have going on on my Instagram, and I will see you guys soon. I'm out. See ya.